just so you know, uh, Trooper J.D. McCombie of the Indiana State Police Barracks will be the lead investigator in this case. He's not with us today as he is still working uh, on the investigation. As you know, this is a very fresh investigation. We are still continuing to follow up any and all leads, uh, but we do have the three individuals in custody, uh, and we are in the process of filing charges. Those charges should be filed at Magistrate District Judge George Thatchick's office in Clymer, uh, hopefully by the close of business today. Um, we want to thank members of the Pennsylvania State Police Troop A Major Case Team, that consists of officers from all the different stations consisting of Troop A. Here with me today, and I meant to introduce them earlier, is Lieutenant Joseph Ruggery to my left. He is the Troop A uh, Criminal Investigation Supervisor for the entire troop. And to my right is uh, Trooper Clifford Greenfield. He is the Public Information Officer for Troop A Indiana Barracks. Uh, we also want to thank, uh, we received assistance from many different agencies. I'd like to thank Indiana County Emergency Management. They were able to provide uh, scene assistance with lighting and some other uh, tactical uh, issues such as tents and things like that. Um, Troop C, Punxsutawney, uh, their officers were able to come and assist us uh, with an investigation that was occurring in Glen Campbell, uh, Pennsylvania as a part of this investigation. Uh, the Indiana Borough Police, the Indiana County Sheriff's Office assisted in apprehending uh, Mr. Stevenson. He was apprehended in Indiana Borough a short time ago, uh, approximately in the vicinity of the Carriage House on Oakland Avenue. Uh, Mr. Price was taken into custody at his residence along State Route 286 and it was an uneventful. Um, and Mr. Isaiah Russell Scott uh, was also taken into custody at his residence, and that was uneventful. Um, obviously, just so you know, the autopsies are being per, uh, done right now. They are being done at Forensic DX in Winber, Pennsylvania. Uh, Coroner Overman will release more details once those autopsies are completed. Uh, he will provide that information as he gets it. Uh, so at this time, I'm not able to provide names. Uh, the coroner has uh, informed me that we are still waiting on a few notifications. Uh, in addition, any cause or manner of death, it's premature at this time because they're still conducting the autopsies. Um, with that, I will take any questions anybody has. Uh, yes, Ross. How these folks found out that this uh, double murder had uh, taken place? Was it a neighbor who heard something? Did someone yes. make a phone call? What do we know at this juncture? Uh, it's my understanding, Ross, that a call came in at approximately 12.40 a.m. to Pennsylvania State Police, Indiana, uh, to report a disturbance at a neighboring uh, dwelling. So we believe it was a neighbor that made the initial call. Do you believe that drugs were involved in this? At this point, Josh, I really don't want to comment. This is an ongoing investigation. Um, but, um, you know, really, until we have our, all of our facts in order, we really don't want to speculate on what might be the motive uh, involved here. Can you elaborate at all on if anyone else, um, if these people were targeted or... Was there ever any general concern to anyone else in the public? Yeah, I don't believe there's any uh, concern to anyone else in the public. This does not appear to be a random incident. It appears that this was a targeted incident, that people all knew each other um, and went there for a purpose. Um, as you'll see, uh, when the charges are filed, there will be a count of robbery. Uh, so we believe that's the initial uh, reason they went there was uh, to conduct a robbery. With children awake or within proximity? At this point, uh, we don't believe that the children were ever in harm's way. Uh, they were in separately uh, separate areas of the home, uh, and members of the state police, when they uh, removed the children from the house, took every precaution to keep them shielded. Can you say at this point, or will it be in the charges, what was taken during the robbery? 
Um, at this point, we believe that uh, there was a safe taken, um, and then the other items, anything else, will be listed in the affidavit. At this point, it's too it's too early to discuss that, um, as it is an ongoing investigation, and you know we want to be able to lock down all of our leads and go back and re-interview people. So I really don't want to give too much at this point. Can we, to the extent that we know, mm -hmm. do we have any idea what the time frame was when the assailants entered the residence? Uh, we believe it was an approximate somewhere between the 15 to 20 minute window. You said that this was connected with something going on with Lynn Campbell? There were, one of the individuals was believed to have been in Glenn Campbell. Uh, it ended up he was located in Indiana Borough. Oh, okay. But members of the state police major case team are still going through and doing, uh, executing some search warrants, uh, looking for evidence and looking for possible uh, items associated with this incident. So additional charges could still be filed in that case? That's possible, yes. On our way here, we encountered um, another active situation right next to Carriage House um, in the Monroe Mockler area. Mm -hmm. Can you guys elaborate on that? Is that, that something that that is, that's where Mr. Stevenson was taken into custody uh, sh right around 1 o'clock-ish, give or take. And he was the last one to be brought in? That's correct. Now, can you talk at all? I mean, this is midnight, presumably very dark outside. Right. Well, certainly there were people that came forward very quickly that provided members of the state police information that we believe to be credible. We were able to follow up on the, that information in a very timely fashion. We were able to uh, get people in places um, and able to then make make sure. Uh, to corroborate the information we were pro provided at the scene. Uh, members of the state police have conducted many interviews here today. They've been working very diligently since approximately the call came in at 1240. Uh, I know members, uh, myself and other members, have been on scene since about 145, give or take. Uh, so working very dil diligently. I also want, want to not fail to mention the... Uh, Troop A Forensic Services Unit uh, for their assistance. Many of their members were up assisting the Troop A Cars Unit, the Accident Reconstruction and Mapping Unit, as well as the Greensburg Regional Crime Lab. Uh, members of their uh, organization were on scene assisting with uh, the forensic uh, piece of this investigation. Were any of these suspects still in school? Like the 17 year old, was he still in high school? Uh, I really don't feel comfortable commenting on that at this point. Yes, Josh. Uh, you had said that Stevenson was caught around the carriage house area, was picked up, I should say, around the carriage house yes. area. Was there any uh, sort of incident or was that just a calm uh, pickup at that point? We had received many tips uh, over approximately an hour to hour and ten minute window prior to his apprehension, placing him in various areas. Uh, near the carriage house, Martin's Grocery Store, those type of areas. Uh, we were able, with the assistance of both the Indiana Borough Police, the Sheriff's Office, and members of the state police, able to kind of, um, for lack of a better term, tighten down the area, and uh, we were able to locate him in that area. It's not believed that there was any other uh, incident other than uh, Mr. Stevenson attempting to... Uh, uh, just be walking in the area. Okay. Was there any uh, cause for any schools to be going on lockdown at any point? Or anything like yes, that? a decision was made at, the, at one point to lock down Eisenhower Elementary School within the Indian Area School District. It was locked down for a very short period of time. That lockdown has subsequently been lifted, but in the interest of caution and not knowing exactly where the individual was, we had information that he was in that area. And as you know, the carriage house is not that far away. It's on the other side of the McCreary yeah. uh, Tire Plant or Tire Express Plant, as it is, or I'm sorry, Specialty Tire Plant. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so we felt it was imperative for the safety of the students to notify the school district uh, that there was no imminent threat to the school. I want to make that very clear. 
but in the interest of caution, we felt that that was uh, the right decision to make. Uh, the school district cooperated, and they've now been notified that that is uh, no longer necessary. Do you believe this started out a robbery, robbery conspiracy? The robbery may have resulted as a result of, uh, at the end of it. Was there a ringleader? Can you tell us right now, of these three individuals, there was a leader? Yeah, at, at, at this point, Ross, it's too early in the investigation to go down that road. Um, we believe all three of them went there with the intent to commit this robbery. I'm sure as the case uh, unfolds, uh, we'll be able to make those determinations as we move forward. Would you say they are cooperating with the investigation? I really don't want to comment on that at this point. Did you recover anything from the robbery, like a safe or something that ties at, directly to... Yeah, at, at this point, uh, members of the state police are conducting various search warrants throughout Indiana County at various locations. Um, as we get the information and see what we're able to do, recover from those warrants, uh, that will tell us more. At this point, I, I can't really comment on it because uh, we haven't gotten those search warrant returns back yet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. When was the first of the suspects taken into custody? Least requested. Roughly about 4 a.m. Thank you. And then if. As follow up, the second one was taken in approximately 10, 10 a.m., and then 1 a.m. for the or 1 p.m. for the uh, third individual. What was the second one? I'm sorry. Approximately 10 a.m. Okay. Sounds like it was a good effort amongst everybody that worked out so quickly. Absolutely, uh, we were we we had great uh, cooperation from all the different police agencies uh, within Indiana County, working with the state police. Uh, this is the way you you hope that an investigation goes. Um, everybody pitched in, and we were very fortunate uh, to be able to be in a position where we're able to uh, hopefully have the uh, arrest warrants and uh, charges filed by the close of business today. And this is a, a prime example, too, of why public cooperation is, is so important. Yes. You don't always get that. Yes, absolutely. You know, in, in a case like this, it could be one small detail that uh, helps uh, facilitate a lead in the case and we were able to accomplish that uh, with uh, individuals in the area that were willing to come forward and share the information that they knew. Yes? The black car that police were watching this morning on Philadelphia Street, did that end up being uh, related to this investigation? I don't believe so. There was a black car taken into custody, but I don't believe it was that car. Okay. Lieutenant, do you have anything you want to add? Uh, I, I would just like to echo what Mr. Doherty uh, had stated. I'd like to echo what Mr. Doherty had stated uh, about the cooperative effort here. Um, it's, it's refreshing to see a district attorney that, that you know, gets out of bed at 1 o'clock in the morning and actually comes to the scene uh, personally. Uh, like I said, that's very refreshing. Uh, it's very indicative of how passionate he is. Uh, about you know prosecuting crimes in Indiana County, uh, and in my opinion, uh, you know there's no substitute for that you know, sort of personal experience and observation at the scene. Uh, also, as he stated, you know uh, within you know the state police, several different ent entities, the Troop A Major Case Team, in cooperation with uh, Troop C stationed out of Punxsutawney, also were of great assistance, as was our Forensic Services Unit and the uh, Regional Crime Labs, and as well as our you know partners in municipal law enforcement. Uh, in order for a case to be closed as successfully, it does take a team effort, and I think everybody here uh, had an excellent part to play. Okay. Does anybody else need anything? If you need spellings or anything, we can get them to you. Uh, we do have uh, the two photographs. I only have one copy of each, um, so you can feel free. We'll set them up here, and you can shoot them, take pictures of them, whatever you think you need to do, okay? If there's anything else that you need, please let Diana know and she'll try to accommodate. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Our condolences on your loss. Yes, we're very sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, on the back.